All right, now we're going to change the oil of a 2007 Toyota Yaris 1.5 liter, and we are going to use it using the tools that we see here. Um, and we also need our funnel and a low profile oil pan catch. And I'm going to try to do this without jacking up the car at all, just sliding under uh, with the little clearance that there is and just doing it as easily and simply as possible. Okay, let's get started. And then we're going to pop the hood. Okay, got our hood release. There's a little latch we pull up on to lift the hood. And then we have our hood prop. Okay. So there's the old oil filter. We'll eventually get under there to change that. This is where we're going to put the new oil into. Uh, now we need to take the old oil plug off. And I don't exactly remember what size the oil plug is. Let's see if we can figure this out by testing some ratchets. Okay, right there is the oil pan plug. What size is that plug? That does it. All right, we're gonna put this into place. But the first thing is to get this loose. There we go. That was very easy. I'm glad about that. Okay, I wonder if I can do the rest by hand. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'll let that drain out. Got my oil plug. I'm going to get the new oil filter ready. See the model number right there for it. And I like the ones with these little grip on the bottom. It lets you be able to tight on, grab onto it tight, even if you have a little bit of oil on your hand. And yank out the old one and put the new one on. So again, this is where it is, but we're going to get from underneath there and try to pull it. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see this. I'm just going to feel around for it and take the oil filter and twist this off. Okay, so I got the old oil filter off. Here's the new one. And I just like to set it with a little bit of oil in there and put some oil around the ring like that. And I'll just put this back in the oil pan. All right, and now I'm going to screw this one in. I have to do this by feel. All right, and with oil on my hands and with the grip thing, I'm just going to turn this as tight as I can by hand. And that should make it pretty tight without making it killing it because my hands are oily. <sighs> okay. So it looks like the oil is just about done draining. So we're going to plug it back up. Got our oil plug right here. I'm going to start this by hand. If you can see that. And I'll do the rest with the ratchet. We don't want to kill it, but do it pretty tight. That should do it. Now we got our old oil 
and I'm actually going to dump this into a larger oil catch. Uh. Okay. And now what we need to do is put the new oil in there. So it should take three and a half quarts, and I have four of these here, so one of them we don't need to do all the way up. There's one. This is a 5W30, and I got a good deal on the full synthetic. It's a little bit of an older car, so that does better for the engine going full synthetic. In this last bottle, we only need to empty in halfway. You look on the side here, there's little markers for how much um, is in here. So once it gets to around here, you can cut this off. There we go. And now the next time, I only need to buy three of these instead of four, because we have the other half waiting for us. All right, we can take our funnel out, screw our oil cap back on. It tells us right on there, 5W30, and that's what we put in. Undo our hood prop, and we're done. <laughs>